Hey, good morning, everyone. It's uh, Glenn Kellaway coming to you from the basement. It's a beautiful Thursday morning. You wouldn't believe the temperature outside. It's like almost like a summer day, and it's only 9 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, 15 degrees Celsius, which is 30, almost 60 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. It's just gorgeous. Um, hopefully, there's more of that coming. Yesterday, I had a very exciting day. Uh, this video is all about uh, vinyl finds. Um, I, but let me explain. I had to drive into the east end of Toronto in Scarborough, Ontario, which is my old uh, stomping grounds growing up. Um, get my taxes done. My tax guy lives there. So um, good news, I'm getting a refund. So what do you do when you get a refund? Ah, you know, maybe you should save it for a rainy day. Ah. Maybe pay down a credit card. Uh, say for a vacation. No, you buy records. Don't be stupid. So, there's a store in uh, Scarborough called Deja Vu Discs. It basically sells UCDs and videos and video games. But um, in the last few years, they have a guy who comes in every week and stocks their shelves with used records. They just throw them on a shelf. They don't organize them at all. There's probably 500 albums, I'm going to say, there at every given time. And what I'm told is the guy comes around and uh, changes the inventory around, shuffles it around, so it's not always the same old record sitting there. Um, but you can get some great freaking deals there. You can find some classic stuff that is in such bad shape that you just cry your eyes out. Uh, I saw, like, for instance, the... the um, the red uh, Grand Funk album with Paranoid and that on it. I, I love that freaking album. It's classic. You don't see it in the wild too often. And the cover was absolutely mint. My, my eyes just opened up like floodlights. And I pull it out and I pull the record out. And it is just destroyed. So, back. So, the other good thing about this store is everything's $7. It doesn't matter if it's a double album, a triple album, whether it's should go in the garbage or whether it's a, a, a rare find. So uh, I went in there yesterday and I found, I think, six or seven albums. So, and then there's also a location in Oshawa, Ontario, which is closer to me, about halfway between Toronto and Trenton, where I live. And um, I was there to pick up my nephew, Jack, and my other nephew, Alex. So I thought, I better stop in that Deja Vu disc, too. And I found six or seven records in there, too, for six or seven bucks. So I ended up spending, like, about 90 bucks and came home with some just incredible albums i'm so happy and they're all in great shape the journey's not over yet but let's go through these records first so they had a ton of uriah heap albums sitting in that store in scarborough i got uh sweet freedom this is kind of the last heap album when it came out that i really was interested in after this i lost interest in the band i thought they faded quite a bit and then david byron left and then they they're totally off my radar then but um, I always like this album, especially a song called Stealing. Stealing when I should have been buying. So it is on uh, Warner Brothers label. And again, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm telling you, you can't even hear a noise on these records. They're in such wonderful shape. Let me find a place to put them after I'm done. Ah... Uh, I'm a bluegrass guy, right? Banjo player. How can you how can you not buy this when you see it? The Dillards with Byron Berlein on fiddle. Wow, picking and fiddling. Instrumental album with the Dillards. Now, if you're not familiar with the Dillards and you're an old timer or you enjoy old TV, you've probably seen the Andy Griffith show or Andy and Mayberry or whatever they want to call it. And there was a family called the Darlins. And the girl and the darlings, they were always trying to marry her off to Andy. And, and the, the boys in the band always played these kind of dumb hillbillies. But they'd always get together and pick bluegrass music. Well, the, they were the Dillards. And the Dillards are a fantastic band. A great bluegrass band. And Doug Dillard, the banjo player, is fantastic. Very uh, unique style. Uh, great player. But uh, So I could not resist getting the Dillards album. It's uh, on Elect. Electra Records. And again, phenomenal shape. Very cool. So that's the only kind of out there weird uh, thing I got. 
Next, I found Emerson, Lake, and Palmer live triple album. I mean, the cover's got some ring wear, but the records themselves are just absolutely beautiful. That's the kind of, I'm not going to open the whole thing, but uh, I'll pull one of the albums out here. Manticore label. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Ladies and gentlemen, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I'm so excited to get that. I, I couldn't believe it. $7. Triple album set. We were very happy. Next on the list, Naraya Heat Live. Yes, double album again. And it comes with the original inserts. Now, there was a 12-page program that came with this album. Unfortunately, it's not here. But the albums are all here. Comes with the original sleeves. Again, looks like absolutely mint. It looks like these albums were never played. I, I, I'm in shock, actually, with how uh, good they look. I played, I played like two or three albums last night and never had a scratch or a nothing. It's just beautiful. Um, another Uri Heap album, Magician's Birthday. A lot of people think this is their one of their best albums. I'm not in that camp, but it, it's a great album. I'm glad to have it. It's on the Mercury label, so I'm thinking this is an original pressing. Okay, what else? It's just a ton of stuff here, fans. Ah, oh, Larry, you're going to love this. Blue Oyster Cult. Live. Extraterrestrial. Man, on the Columbia label. Double record set. Columbia Records. Oh man, so um, this has Cities on Flame, Hot Rails to Hell, The Red and the Black, Dominance and Submission, Don't Fear the Reaper. I mean, just a freaking dying to hear this. This is going to rock. Blue Oyster Cult, live. Yes, Larry, I'll let you come over and listen. Adding to my Yes vinyl collection. Going for the One, Wondrous Stories, Going for the One with the great slide guitar on it, and yeah, um, there's the label. Okay, what else? We got a ton of stuff here, folks. Okay, I got to show these together. I, uh, obviously, big fan of Bill Bruford's drumming. I mean, the guy, uh, he was in two of my favorite bands ever, King Crimson and, uh, and Yes. And uh, just a brilliant, brilliant musician. Um, I have never heard any of his solo work. I don't know. I heard it's like a jazz combo or something. I, I don't even know. There's a CD box set called Earthworks. It's got like about 20 CDs in it or something. And I look at it and I go, wow, that'd be interesting. But I'd like to hear it. So I found these. Bruford, one of a kind, and Bruford gradually going tornado. So, uh, Polydor Records on that one. This one is on, uh, I don't even know what label that, EG, EG Records, I have no idea. Um, the lineup on these albums is interesting. Uh, this one's got Dave Stewart on keyboards, who's uh, well known in the prog circles. Bill Bruford, Jeff Berlin on bass and lead vocals, and the unknown John Clark on guitar. I guess he's known now. And this one has a more classic lineup of Bill Bruford, Alan Holdsworth, Dave Stewart, and Jeff Berlin. That's a mighty strong lineup. 
So, and these records just look absolutely beautiful, like someone bought them and never listened to them. Okay, next. I like Indian music, man. I like world music. Ravi Shankar at the International Pop Festival in Monterey. Now, it's got a bit of tape on the cover. But the um, record itself is beautiful. It's still in like a, that cheesy plastic thing they give it. it bought the records in. Um, there's the label. Interesting album. Excuse me while I try and put it away. Talk amongst yourselves. How's your morning going? You guys drooling yet? I am freaking so excited. And the best is yet to come. So uh, hold on a second, because i got some more exp more splaining to do, as Ricky Ricardo would say. Toronto Blues Band, probably the greatest Toronto Blues Band ever, most popular, most successful, Downchild Blues Band. Downchild, so far, provocative cover. Um, this is on... Posterity Records, my friend Chris in Calgary, blues vinyl guy, will like, like this one. Uh, hits from the original Downchild band, Donnie and Rick Walsh. Uh, Flip Flop and Fly is on here, Stagger Lee's on here, Almost is on here, Caledonia's on here, uh, Madison Blues, Bring It On Home. Uh, yeah, very cool. There was a woman in the band at this time. Her name was Jane Vassy, and she played keyboards, and she was just a wonderful keyboard player and was stricken with cancer and passed away at a young age. It's, it was a really sad story, but she is on this album. So thinking about you, Jane, uh, you were an amazing musician. Uh, so uh, next, okay, so that's everything I picked up at Deja Vu Dis at the two stores. Uh, I don't know how many albums that totaled up to, like, 12, something like that. Um, on the way back through, we pass Coburg, Ontario, where uh, Zap Records is, the greatest independent record store in Canada. My friend Tim owns it, and uh, I talked to Tim the other day. I had bought the new uh, Zappa 200 Motels on vinyl, and I just can't listen to it. I, I, it there's too much... The music is fantastic. The record actually sounds brilliant. It's so well recorded, and, and uh, the, the reissue sounds amazing. Um, but musically, I just, it's not, it's probably one of my least favorite Zappa albums, and I thought, I'm just wasting, it's just wasting space here. So I asked him if I could trade it in, and he said yes. I took that, and I took a couple other things in, uh, and I ended up with a $110 credit. So I bought some stuff with that. So let's check that out. I've always, I've had this on vinyl for years. It's my favorite Uriah Heap album, Salisbury. I got it for uh, 15 bucks in beautiful shape. Mercury label. The song Salisbury is one of my favorite songs of all time. If I, if I rank just my favorite songs, it's probably in top 10. Uh, I also got this. So I saw uh, Norman Maslov with this record, and um, as soon as I saw it, I wanted it because um, I am a huge fan. I got turned on to Django Reinhardt, Stefan Grappelli, the Hot Club of France thing, all those old jazz records um, pretty early on in the mid-'70s and just loved this. I mean, Django Reinhardt's one of the greatest ever, and uh, that music is so intoxicating and so good and so well played they're just genius musicians if you're not familiar with that music check out Django Reinhardt um, so uh, I saw this Tone Poet release Joe Pass who's another one of my favorite jazz guitarists for Django tribute album to Django Reinhardt I had to have it I, I called Tim and said do you have this album he said yes so that's when I came up with my plan to trade stuff in because this wasn't cheap, folks, like 50 bucks. Uh, Joe Pass, John Pisano on guitar, Jim Hugh Hart on bass, Colin Bailey on drums. Um, the, the Django songs they do that, that he made famous, one he wrote called Nuages, N-U-A-G-E-S, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. 
uh, Night and Day, Cole Porter, which Django did, Fleur du uh, en -U, en -U, en -U, I can't remember how, that thing, that's a Django song, uh, Cavalry, uh, Django's Castle, Limehouse Blues, um, I'm dying to hear this, haven't heard it yet, uh, haven't even taken it out of the packaging to see what the album looks like. Oh, nice sleeve. They do these so well. This is the one I'm most excited about. I am just dying to hear it. I think I'm going to put it on as soon as I'm finished doing this video. Uh, that, and last but not least, I still had a couple extra bucks, and I thought, um, I bought this album on CD when it came out, and it absolutely blows me away. I've never got sick of listening to it. And uh, one of the great live albums, as far as I'm concerned, if you you should you should hear it if you haven't, if you're a fan of uh, Derek and the Dominoes' Layla album, this is Tedeschi Trucks Band with Trey Anastasia from Fish doing Layla Revisited live at Lockin. Three album set, amazing amazing live album. The guitar work in this album is phenomenal. I can't recommend this num this record highly enough. It is unbelievable. Check it out. Tedeschi Trucks Band Layla. If you haven't heard this, you gotta. Um, that's it. I'm exhausted. Now I gotta listen to some music. So uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Um, I'm wearing a Spartans hat today because March Madness is starting. If you're interested in March Madness at all and you haven't heard, uh, our friend Randall Weaver has set up a bracket uh, contest. It's just free, it's just fun. Uh, the only thing you're going to win is bragging rights to say that you're a genius when it comes to picking basketball games. It's so easy to fill out a bracket, even if you're not a fan of uh, of sports or whatever. Go on, go to Randy's channel. He'll he'll show you how to enter. Just do it for fun. Like you just fill out the bracket by pushing team names. There's it's there's so many upsets and that no one no one's ever going to get them all right. So it's really pretty fluky if you win it anyway. So you don't have to be a fan if you want to want to be part of it just enter it'll be fun and um yeah that's it so peace out everyone love you all take care